Yellow Techies and welcome back to Wildflowers. My name's Viola. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. Okay, so was I doing anything down here besides making alcohol? No. Okay. Where's my work? What Morning, am I? Oh. Thomas. Morning. I've been thinking about how Hazel always seemed to know to harvest her crops right before the seasons changed. I always thought she just had a nose for it. But now, I think your coven might have something to do with that. Mm, we might. Yeah, I figured. I don't want to know how. Just give me a heads up before you do whatever it is you do. Don't want my crops to wilt because I didn't get them out of the ground in time. I will, Thomas. I promise. Okay. Sophia looked beautiful at the fling. She always does, of course, but it never gets old. They're so cute. They gotta be so flippin' cute. Wait, was I going to get... Yeah, I was going to go get some more uh, cotton. Let's see, wait, what's I believe? Cotton seeds. Because I'm having trouble with growing claws. The sap. Was I still working on glass? I can't remember. Oh yeah, and this is ongoing. Sebastian didn't want to do the maypole dance at the fling, which makes me wish I had taken more pics of him doing it as a kid. Here because it does more. Oh, 
I'll have to convince Lena to make some space on her spice hanger soon. I want to dry a couple stems out of those gorgeous bouquets before they get to Wilton. I think I've got everything we need for the propagation shed, Parker. Seed station, Otero. Oh, no. I think Angus's jokes are rubbing off on me. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you'll need special propagation mix to make garden beds in your shed. You can make that in your compost bin. Okay, I'll get to work. This should only take a day or so. So the space is already clear. That's what that means. And that over the weekend. The fling's my favorite fest. Celebrating love is always my speed. I have to admit, I'm surprised by how well Parker's taking this. He even read the kids' Peter Rabbit last night. He's got a sense of humor, that's for sure. Wait, do you not? Uh... Oh, yeah, now I remember. That's a Thomas thing. <sighs> That's fine. Marks there. Pretty sure I've already talked to Angus. Yeah. Where shall we? That's you. Shelby, you must know something about this bunny ear charm. Who said it was an incantation? Might have been a potion. But that doesn't seem quite right either. It's telling you to keep your ears open if you want to find the answer. That much I do know. So we're constantly talking about how... Yeah. Tara, there's something I've been meaning to say to you. I'm so very sorry about your grand. I knew her death was coming. But it still hurt. Hazel and Marcus were the only people I could talk to about where I came from. Sometimes 
I wish so hard they were still here that I forget they're even gone. You can talk to me. I know I haven't been here as long, but I'll always listen. I think... I think I will tell you. Just a bit. I was born in Hungary. Ooh, I know. I don't sound like it. <laughs> Spent most of my time on these shores after my parents passed. I'm sorry to hear about your parents. They knew it was coming. They were, uh, I am Romani. No one read cards better than my ma. But that's a story for another time. Huh. I think my, uh, Sharing gears are rusty. <laughs> can... Can that happen? Practice makes perfect. And this kind of practice might even be good for you. Huh. We'll see about that. Thank you, Tara. You got all the best parts of your grand. I have a lot to learn about witchcraft, but... Not to toot my own horn. I know how to be a good friend. That you do. That you do. Hmm. So who's the last person we haven't talked to? Ah, uh, two days remaining. While I'm here at the circle, go into a area and go ahead and water what I have growing here. Should have the flowers to make that bouquet that she wants to do for her. Auto? Is it auto I'm missing? Oh, and I need to talk to Thomas. Thomas. I need cotton seeds. Just give me a bunch. Thank you. I doubt I will actually make use of a hundred cotton seeds, but I might as well have them. Otto. Where is Otto? Has anyone seen Otto? I need to talk to Otto. If nothing else, I'll see him in the bar. Oh, there he is. Wait, I have talked to him about this? I plan on attending Fairhaven Flings long as my body allows. I enjoy feeling like a part of a community. Okay. It's not odd. Angus makes killer hot cross buns for the spring fling. Who am I missing?
Is it one of the Ravenwood Hollow things? Hey! Heard you got a fancy new title. Yes, but it means I need a fancy new wand. Well, I can help you there. Check out what's new in my shop. But if you decide to go for it, careful where you point that thing. It's got some oomph. I know it wasn't easy for Wesley to dump all that potion into the wellspring. But it was right for him to make amends. Wesley is back to his human form, I see. Someday, he might appreciate being blessed to be among the Fae, instead of fighting so hard to be human. But today is not that day. I knew who I was missing. Is it Wesley? Don't think I'd miss talking to Wesley about it, but maybe it's Wesley. If it's not, I will go to the bar. Yes. So it turns out there is something more humiliating than being turned into a werewolf every night. Who would have guessed? Gloria will be found. I don't know if she will accept talking to me about outside things in the coven. She should, because now the coven and the town are basically becoming one. Which is very nice. The kid's father has been calling almost every day. I know he felt he had to get a job off-island to support them, but he left them, all the same. Even so, he seems to have grown a lot. He's not the same man I used to know. Mm hmm But you're still referring to him as the kid's father. Here. Stick. Okay. <sighs> I'll give that to Juliet tomorrow. Also go to the river. Today. 
いいアイテムね Let me check that and see how we are on speed. Hello, Bubbles. And the petals. Duck eggs and alpaca. How you doing, milkshake? Should expect your baby at the end of next episode. Nice. Shelby's here. I heard Violet open a new boutique in town, so I stopped by to see if she might offer tailoring services. But she's overwhelmed with orders for her new designs already. I might be able to help. You need something hemmed? Well, this is awkward, but my extended period of transformation has ruined the backs of my favorite trousers. I was hoping Violet could repair them now that I'm spending less time in werewolf form. I've got a sewing machine. I could fix them for you. Really? You would do that? That would be wonderful. It's so hard to be smartly dressed and part fay. Unless you're Perry. Yeah, unless you're Perry. So let's see here. I have all that I need. And now I have a new wand. Whoop, whoop. Gloria.
from two days ago. I know where Parker is. Parker is currently taking care of something for me. There. Hi, Tara. Is the bouquet ready yet? Yes. Here you go. Oh, thanks so much. I wish I could tell him everything that's happened, but the flowers will just have to speak for me. Oh, here. Anyone seen Gloria? Anyone at all? Oops, I'm channeling my mama, but I couldn't help it. This blew me away. I saw that tree. That tree doesn't fit with my aesthetic. Evil, evil tree must be. Give it a right shot, I will. Mm. Yeah. Don't know where she is, so no. Don't know where she is, so oh, no. Don't know where she's gone to. Gotta find her some way. Don't know where to go, but hey, chop this tree down. Yeah. She's in the mountains. I haven't come back in here since I needed to get wood. Can you guys tell? I wish there was a way to figure out where the NPCs are. Like, I know that they have their own schedules that they keep, and they're not, like, going out and wandering about just randomly. But that doesn't mean I always know who's where or when. It's kind of frustrating because it being the weekend, I can't really just oh, I can't wait to drink. This is for you, sweetheart. I hope you like it. Eight night, it's the uh, auto. Seriously?
Grandma. Sophia and Thomas are engaged. I wish you could see how sweet they are together. Thomas smiles on a regular basis since they started dating. Could have, if I could have just figured out where she was. Hmm. Oh, wow. At least go and talk to the adept. She's a mirror. Why, this hello there, Keeper. Hello, Guardian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm still not used to my new title yet, but I figured it's time to do my job and fix that broken bramble mess. The townsfolk have been pretty respectful, but it isn't great that technically any of them could rock up here unannounced. Agreed. Can I help? Yes. I've got this incantation recipe that should fix it. We just need a few things from the gloaming, and we'll need some special parchment from Wesley. There's deeper secrets to our connection to the Wellspring. It's time for you to learn them. If there's one thing magic's taught me, it's that secrets are kind of never-ending. In order to turn the wheel, the Wellspring demands offerings to build the necessary strength. And before you ask, it chooses random items every year. None of us know why. You sure no one knows why? Not that I know of. When you've satisfied the Wellspring, talk to the High Priestess before you actually turn the wheel. Sounds reasonable. I'm so excited to officially start my duties as Keeper of the Wheel! But I got a few things to finish before we get there. Why do I keep going in here? I don't... I can't... Do anything with that yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, we should go in. Here and grab some of the first off. And then I'll have to just reboost my power when I am back out. I need that recipe. Come on. Recipe. Need the recipe. Yep. Oh, yes! Thank you. Is that a bottle? With a recipe inside. You really need a recipe for nachos? I mean, I guess if you're making it from scratch, but most of the time. Nachos are nachos. I don't think there were any other extra resources I could get. Let's see. Let's go back out. 
refill at the wellspring at home. Let's run home and look at what we're going to need. And I think that will be it for today's episode. After that, Bumper Harvest Potion. We need a Bumper Harvest Potion. I can do that. Thankfully. Okay. Oh, pants. Wesley's pants. Let's see if we can do that real quick. Wesley's pants. What do we need? Um, so I need one more silk. Oh. Nope, here it is. Pants. Orange. Can't do orange yet. Can do blue. Just barely. Well, that will be fine. I can do that one. And green. Black leather, black cloth. Okay. Black leather takes longer. So we'll do that. Let's give him his pants back. Your trousers are ready, Wesley. Wow, they look good as new. Farmer, witch, now seamstress. Is there anything you can't do? I can't whistle or snap using my middle finger. I have to use my index finger. It's weird. I am the last person to be a judge of weird. Anyway, thanks. Now I'll really feel like me again. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring me the bell to keep up to date on all the videos and remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!